Hey guys, today I'm here with another steps to building a home video and this will be my third video so I will have the others linked up above. Last time I talked about all the major components of the actual house build, the foundation, the roof trusses and that type of thing. So now I will be moving on to a few of the exterior finishes. I'm hoping that this will be a little bit of a shorter video because there's not much to go through. However, there's some big decisions. So I first wanted to start off by saying uh, we left off with the trusses and the outside walls being framed in and the plywood on the roof so obviously after the plywood is on the roof you need to cover it with something that is going to be waterproof or as waterproof as possible so you can either go with i'm sure there's lots of different options in different zones however the main one in our area is shingles or metal roofing and we decided to go with shingles we did get quotes on metal roofing however it's about double the cost of shingles so shingles are a lot more labor intensive. However, metal is so much more expensive. These shingles are going to be costing around $4,300. Whereas the quote that I got for the metal roofing was $12,000. So it was a huge jump, uh, about three times the amount. And we decided on just the Home Depot brand Timberline shingles. We haven't picked out a color yet. I'm not sure if we're going to be going with like a gray black or a brownie black. So we'll kind of decide that once we have um, some more decisions in stone but we don't have to decide that until we actually go to pick them up. So underneath your shingles, you have to have a few things. You have to have your starter strip. It's a fiberglass shingle type material that comes in a strip and you run it all along your edges of your roof. It helps just strengthen the shingles at the edge. So that way if wind or whatever comes up, it's not going to blow off your shingles. So you have that. And then also you have your felt paper that goes around the edges as well and that just helps prevent uh, any moisture damage getting into the plywood roof. And then there's one other thing and it's called drip edge or roof edge flashing. It's basically just a piece that goes up underneath the first layer of the shingles and is weirdly shaped like this, but you have to put that on as well. Now moving downwards, we have our walls to finish. So there's a few different things that have to go on the outside of the framing now. Where we are in Ontario, there's different codes that have come about in the last couple of years. So you have your plywood that goes on and normally you would just then uh, house wrap that. However, now you have to insulate with an extra inch of foam insulation. So this is rigid insulation foam and you put it on top of your plywood and you actually tuck tape that all the way around and that becomes your house wrap. So it adds, I think, about five R value to your house total. So that's a new code as of, I believe, last year. So then it, you get into the more exciting parts, choosing your siding and your exterior materials that you want to make look pretty. So we actually, I was doing some research on the companies in the area that supplies siding and I had come across Mitten Siding and this is not sponsored. I am actually not even going with Mitten. However, they do have a calculator on their website to help calculate all of what you would need for your siding. So your square footage, all your trim pieces, all of that, and even uh, fascia and soffit. I won't get into those just yet. So it gives you a complete list and gives you all your totals. So I use them for that. And then I actually sent this list around to other companies. Mitten will not deal with a personal customer, they have to deal with a company or a store and then the store deals with you. So I didn't like that about them. I want to deal directly with the source. I don't want any middlemen where there can be some communication issues. So that's actually the reason why I'm not going with them. So I did send this off to not someone local, but someone that my dad has used in the past and they sent us a quote for it and the total amount for that is $5,300. So that is pretty good. So then we 
also used Mitten. Um, they have a free sample, I guess, mailing list um, that you can put yourself on and you have the option of getting five different colors. So I did do that. It's free to get these samples, which is awesome because actually all of the companies pretty much have the exact same colors and you'll actually notice that they're called the exact same thing so you can order from mitten to get these samples and then actually use a different company so these are the five colors that i went with first and i really like the deep browns and um, just more like earthy tones and then also I then went and, cause it's five samples per household. So then I actually went and ordered Kyle's, under Kyle's name, under his dad's address and got five more colors. So as you can see, we have a total of 10 different colors. So Kyle and I have narrowed it down quite a bit. However, we haven't made our final decision yet. We don't like this color here. It's a little too blue for us. We really enjoy this green color. It's called uh, Cypress. We really like that color. However, we feel like we would get sick of it. Um, so we're not gonna be going with that one, I don't believe. And then there's a couple ones that we didn't really like. This one here, we didn't like. It's too, it's too yellowy, orangey brown for us. We don't like that. Um, and then also, we didn't like this khaki brown here. It, Definitely looks different on the camera, but um, so we narrowed those down. So then we were left with these and we don't think we're going to go with these because they're too light. Um, and then this one was okay. Um, however, I think it's gonna be a little bit too light to go with any of these. And these are the main colors that we narrowed it down as. So we are hoping, um, we really love this eggplant color. However, I think it's just a little too purple. Um, it does, it is more of a brown, but it does have a lot of like purple red undertones. So we've kind of narrowed it down to these two. And these two colors are called Coffee Bean and Timber Bark. So we are hoping either to have all of our siding this color and then have our trim this color or switch it either way around. We haven't decided yet um, and we might change our minds, but we'll see. So we've kind of narrowed it down for sure between these three colors, definitely. Let me know in the comments below what you would pick out of these colors. They are called Sandalwood, Ash, Brownstone, Sage, Cypress, Eggplant, Timberbark, Coffee Bean, Khaki Brown, and Caribou Brown. So let me know what you guys think. So one other thing that you have to do, um, well you don't have to do, but I'm choosing to do, is up in your gables, which are here, this triangular piece in these parts, you have to decide whether or not you want siding or something else. We thought we were going to be going with vertical siding along the main part. However, I think we're going to be actually going with horizontal because they only come in 10 foot lengths and the length of the garage is actually like 15 feet or so. And I would have to have a join somewhere along there and I really don't want that look. So I think we're going to be changing to horizontal and then also up in here. So what I was saying was you have to decide whether you want that horizontal, vertical or something else. And we are actually going to be doing cedar shingles up in this area. And then on the side gables over here, we're going to be doing the vertical siding. So moving on, you have your drip edge on the edges of your roof and you need your fascia board and fascia. So you have a two by six or two by four, depending on your roof size, um, running along all these edges and you cover that with usually metal fascia. And then also you have your eaves troughs that have to go on uh, your downspouts and that type of thing and then also up underneath so you have a two foot overhang from this is your wall and then you have a two foot overhang and up underneath here you want to close that in so nothing gets in however you want it vented so that there is airflow through your roof so then you put soffit on which can be included sometimes in your siding quote and then the last thing I'm going to add to this video is the interior walls get framed in the next steps after this will explain why 
I wanted to add that into this um, but that's about the next step that you have to do is doing your interior walls some people do your interior walls while they do all the other framing I don't think we're gonna be doing that we'll see but yeah so I think that's all for this video if you like this video give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and we'll see you next time thanks so much for watching bye guys